Hello everybody, welcome back to uh, a little bit more World of Warcraft, hopefully it has in fact loaded. Nice. Um, this might not be quite as long a stream as normal, we will see how it goes. Um, my stomach is just super acting up, so I've kind of like delayed starting streaming. I ended up watching like a bit of Indiana Jones for some reason, I don't know, I, just, I put something on just to like wait out a little bit of time, see if my stomach went off. Still a little iffy, but we should be good. I'm going to try and get through at least the last of the Shadow Moon stuff. I did want to start doing the um, the new pre-patch content, because apparently the phase two of the pre-patch stuff started last night. Like, a couple hours before I looked up when the next phase was starting. And it turns out that includes like the Scourge invasion, so we might just spawn in and be dead. I don't know. But apparently the rest of the quest line and stuff is in now, so... We'll probably cover that at some point. If we don't do that today, because my stomach, we will probably uh, give that a go tomorrow. Um, I was already planning tomorrow, because I still want to stream, but it's probably going to be like a micless stream, which apparently there is like some market for, so <laughs> we'll give it a go, I guess. It's just because I have to look after my... Well, I don't have to look after my nephew. I help look after my nephew a lot of the time. Have to like keep my dog out of the way, so that he can actually play with his toys and you know have some fun like a kid should. So I have to keep the dog out of the way. So I have to bring him up here. So my dog then sits whining, wanting to go back downstairs and play with my nephew's toys. So I have to deal with that. <laughs> so uh, Michael's stream more than likely, so you don't have to deal with like just whining noises and stuff. But, uh, yeah, we'll see how that goes. It probably won't be... Oh god, is this going to be another one of these? I have to kill a random NPC and... We don't know which one. Uh... Well, you look important. Not you. One of you two? No. Uh... Oh, that's the helmet pickup for the other quest, right? Okay. <laughs> Wowhead time. I should just have Wowhead up already whenever we do these Lawmaster streams, because so often does this happen. Nice. Only put one letter in the wrong place in Illidari. That's pretty fucking impressive, considering. <laughs> Um, a series of quests that lead to some cool anti-demon weapons. It involves many level 70 instances, so you probably want to prerequisite before then. David Wayne is also rumoured to be Mograine of the Ashbringer. Nice. Um, drops from Overseer Ripsaw. Oh. Nice. It's just a random quest. Okay, uh, what have we got to do now? Just fly it back home. Okay. Yeah, I'm hoping this goes a little quicker than, like, the first three that we did here. Because Wild Hammer, the first Death Knight, and the Dark Conclave, because we were doing them all at the same time, they sort of overlapped and took, like, two hours. Which is insane. Considering we're doing this at max level, we can just one-shot everything. Just so much flying around in circles. I'm really hoping this farming quest isn't part of the quest line. I don't want to do it at all. Can I get more you today? Most irritating quest I've seen in this zone. Uh, going back again. <laughs> yeah, this is this is why this zone takes a while. Because every quest is, go back to the place you just were, now go back again, now come back again. There is a logic to it, but it's irritating. Um, wants you to bring him Marikor's Clave and Morgron's Glaive. I think I murdered one of these guys already. 
Wraith guys, where is... So I think this guy has a patrol path, or he's also dead. So I just noticed there's a wrath call, there's not wraith calls. I was just saying completely the wrong word. Um. Hello? Oh. Yes, you do have patrol path. Yeah, spent some more time last night working on the um, working on the game post the stream, as is the the plan now. It's kind of my um, my self-imposed work day, <laughs> essentially. I actually spent some time working on it this morning while my stomach was playing up, and uh, I got a like mission screen up and running now, which is kind of like the it's not super complex. It's kind of like the one from Phasmophobia, but it just looks graphically prettier. Because having like a kind of uh, more sci-fi setting means I can be a little more fancy with like uh, how information is presented to the player. Because phasmophobia is stuck in like modern day realism, so they have to deal with like whiteboards and stuff. And this guy spawns right here, so this is just a waiting game, isn't it? But yeah, got that up and running um, with like. Don't need to turn that off. With, um... It's the word? Randomized, like, mission locations? So, there's, like... To describe it, there's a star map of, like, a galaxy. And, um... Missions will randomly appear on the galaxy. And you can click on those, and they give you a like, brief rundown of what the mission is. Whether it's a bigger ship, a smaller ship. Uh, potentially what is going to be on the ship is the thing I need to add. And then also, like, an estimated amount of loot that's on board. So you know how much you're potentially going to get from this and how much you're risking by going on that mission rather than another one. Which is uh, kind of cool. I'm enjoying it. It looks good. I spent a bunch of time this morning designing like um, consoles, like terminals that you know, you'd use to interact and control the ship or whatever. Did all that based on like a mishmash of cyberpunk artwork and Warhammer miniatures, which is an interesting pool of things to pull ideas from. It looks good. I'm not super sold on the, like, the handles I did for, like, the levers on it. There's two separate, like, lever things next to each other. This guy just is not spawning. Holy shit. Yeah, there's two, like, separate levers to control things. I don't know. There's not really a designed purpose for them. They just do things. And, uh, yeah, they look a bit weird. I think I might redo those. It's because I started making them out of a cube and then, like, trying to round that off and smooth it to be, like, an actual kind of, like... I don't know, the image in my head is kind of like the... the beer taps in pubs and stuff. Like, that sort of lever. I think I might redesign that from like the ground up and uh, see what we can come up with instead of what I've currently got. Why does this guy have a long respawn timer? Um, will it show me stuff on the map? No, because I'm not there. Oh, there he is. I'm not sure where you go to pick up the next half of the quest line then. I'd assumed it would have been in Ice Ground, considering that's where it is. Because it's all like Argent Crusade stuff now, and it's battling against, um. I can't remember her name. But she's like a, a Dark Valkyrie or whatever. She's one of like the Jailer's Valkyries. She's the one, if you've done any of the pre patch stuff, who's like flying around and resurrecting all the, um, the old bosses from Northrend, all the old undead guys. I'm pretty sure you kill her at the end of the quest line, and that's what, you know, is kind of the the very final thing before Shadowlands. We got another quest line that's popped up. Oh no! 
We gotta go do some farming, boys. <laughs> Oh, no, there is a quest there. It was just underneath my marker, so I couldn't see it. Never mind, I'm saved. Where is it? Hello? Oh, you... Didn't I just hand in a quest and you didn't have one? Now I've got to take ingots to somebody. Sure. Also, apparently the rare's spawn timer is now like 10 minutes for everything in Ice Crown, so... Might be worth heading over there at some point. We will see. I mean, to be fair, if we end up doing that this stream, if my stomach holds out, then we'll probably end up doing, um... More Lawmaster stuff on the stream tomorrow, just without a mic. We do have, like, a good chunk of stuff left to do. This is the last of Burning Crusade we're doing right now. And then we've got uh, all of Cataclysm, pretty much all of Northrend to do. Pretty much all of Kalimdor. <laughs> Done all of Legion. Done all of BFA. Done, like, half of WAD, weirdly, even though I don't like WAD. I think I started doing it at one point because there's, um... Wait, did it just fail the quest because I left Shadow Moon Valley? Because he's not in Shadow Moon Valley. Oh, is it because I'm wearing the goggles? Which, in fact, can I take those off? Why am I not wearing my tab off? There we go. What do you want me to do, David Wayne? Uh, oh. Go to Shatra. Jesus. This quest line. <laughs> it's just like 90% travelling. Ah, well. Last thing we gotta do. But yeah, I think I started doing the WOD quest line at one point for the mount, and then stopped doing it when I realised I had to do, like, uh, a thousand treasure chests or something dumb. I was just like, I can't be bothered with this. Um, where will it be? Draenor? It'd be easy just to do Pathfinder, wouldn't it? Draenor Pathfinder. Yeah, I have to do Lawmaster, and then there's the Treasure Hunt at one, Securing, and Diplomat. Which is a whole bunch of reps. Which I've not done any of. It's too late now, Shadowlands next week. Not good time for Draenor. Thank God. <laughs> I never want to go back. That's the reason I was leveling a whole bunch of my, like, alts during the... the weird rep buff thing that... Oh, the, the time walking event that Blizzard did, because it allowed you to skip Draenor, because you could just go into time walking instead, because it didn't have an item requirement. So you could just completely bypass going to Draenor. Uh, what do I need here? A demon warding totem. Do you sell demon warding totems? You do, in fact. Water Kowinky Dink. Um. Clear out some of this crap that's just clogging up my inventory. Yeah, I'll do that, I guess. Um, oh, I can't sell that. List of creatures that O sell. Oh, okay. Why do I still need that? I finished that quest. I did the sell quest line. Um, wait, what? Wants you to bring him Adamite Frame, full Not Hide Leather, and Demon Warding Tones. Um, the ingots that you brought contain most of the metal need to forge the sword's blade, but you need a variety of things in order to create the weapon. Assuming things you need, uh, some heavy Not Hide Leather and a Demon Warding Tone. Skilled crafters should be able to produce the first two, but the third is only sold. 
to the auction house. Because I can't skin. Please, where's a guard that can tell me something? There we go. Wait, really? Hold on a second. I'm pretty sure there's an auction house at the Aldor Bank place, right? I'm sure there is. Apparently that's the Eldor Bank, but I'm pretty sure they have one up here. <laughs> In the, like, very Eldor bit. These are the crafting ones, aren't they? Um, that's the inn. Maybe it is down there. Maybe I'm just very wrong. I mean, there's a leather worker there. Yeah, fuck it, I'll try it there. Yeah. Outdoor quartermaster? Bankers? Where's the oh, here we go. There are auctioneers here. Uh. Not hive? Was it? What do I need? Uh, four heavy not hide leather. Fuck me, 70 le- <laughs> This quest cost me 280 gold. Oh, also the mailboxes are at the back. That's helpful. Oh, also money, apparently. How long have these got? Okay, like a month, that's fine. Uh, you got anything? A uh, tabard? I'm not exalted yet. Oops. I should probably just grind out their rep at some point, considering I need one more to hit like the 40 exalted rep mark anyway. Might be worth topping that off, getting a, a tabard appearance and some stuff too. It's gonna be weird when Shadowlands hits, to be honest. Because I've spent like the last few months kind of just picking and choosing what I'm doing in this game all the time. And I feel like when Shadowlands hits, that's not really gonna be the case anymore. Because <laughs> I'm just gonna be doing whatever the new quest line is. Whatever the next part is for my Necro Lord thing. Like... What I mean, in a weird way, it kind of feels like. Um... Kind of feels like being locked back into a, a storyline again. Which isn't necessarily a bad thing, but I did manage to get bored during BFA doing that, so... Hopefully we don't have that again. <laughs> I didn't read any of these quests. Uh, wants you to achieve an overcharged set. Attend the lexicon from Grandmaster Warpill. 
I'm butchering all of these. Um, the Mechanar area of Tempest Keep. Okay, and this one. Oh, this one actually gives me a map. Wants me to go to the Shadow Labyrinth. Which I believe is in the middle of here, right? It's one of the these. Shadow Labyrinth, the bottom one. Nice, dungeons. Might get some more transmog stuff. I do at some point also kind of want to do like a battle pet thing and go around and collect all of them. Which reminds me, I actually still need to finish the most recent Pokemon game. Was it Sword and Shield? <laughs> I've forgotten. It's all that's like set in Pokemon England, so really I should have been like super into it, but it's kind of... I don't know, I feel like I kind of just reached a, a point with Pokemon where it's not... All that gripping anymore. To be fair, I kind of dropped out of the whole Pokemon thing during like Diamond and Pearl? Actually no, Black and White, the original ones. And I played like two or three gyms into Black and White and then just gave up. I got bored just riding around cities and stuff all the time. It's kind of both the good and bad thing about Pokemon is the fact that all the games are kind of the same. So once you've played one, you've kind of played all of them, right? There's not a whole lot that changes other than, like, the Pokemon. Which is good, because it means you can play one, you can play all of them, like, you know what you're doing immediately. Downside is they do just become very samey. Oh. And also the more, like, recent ones with them adding so many new Pokemon, I just didn't know what any of them were. So I also didn't really have any, like, vested interest in catching any of them. Whereas, like, when they remastered the originals again, like, what was it? Was it Ruby they remastered, or Red? And they did the whole, like, uh, Pokemon Go, like, catch mechanic for it. As much as it was probably the easiest Pokemon game I've ever played. I did also enjoy it, like, going back to the, like, the old places and catching all the old ones again, rebuilding my, like, very first team. It was kind of a cool thing. I think it's why I liked, um, was it Pixum on the mod that we played for a bit on the channel as well? There is actually, like, three episodes of that unedited somewhere on my hard drive. I could still put up at some point if I wanted to. I don't think anybody's interested in it, but I could upload it if I wanted to. Which requires a lot of editing. I think it's why I liked that, because that was like everything at once. And then you could get people's custom maps and stuff that they built that were like mimics of. Uh, the old games and zones and things. Honestly, I should probably go back and play that again at some point. I need to find, like, a, a stable version of that mod and then also, like, a good custom app or something. That might be a fun series. I don't feel like the Pixamon thing works... Uh, like, super well without having, like, a structured map in place. Like, I don't feel like the Minecraft side of it and the Pokemon side of it blend super well together without a structure already there. Which is sort of what we tried to create in that series. Because we gave ourselves, like, limitations on types we could catch and stuff.
I suppose you could do it as sort of like a, a nomad style thing where you're like wandering the wilds trying to find the next gym and things. Just catching whatever you run into, but the issue I find with that is that the leveling on the Pokemon is real weird. Like you kinda need to make it scale like uh WoW does. Where like all the mobs scale to your level, because otherwise you can never actually catch anything. <laughs> That might be a fun thing to do at some point. I've got a lot of ideas for things and just not enough time to like cram everything in I think is the problem. Especially with all the uh, like wow stuff that's going on now as well. I don't think you guys drop anything. These guys drop a lot of greens, though. Nice. Oh, I literally can't pick up any more things. I keep pressing I for inventory for some reason. Um. No, oh, fuck, I'll throw away these lock boxes because I can't be asked to send them to my rogue. I was actually thinking about that the other day as well. Because <laughs> I have the, the class trial rogue just for like lockpicking stuff, right? But I feel like I'd be better off actually leveling up my own rogue at some point, because then it's like there's no time limitation on it, it's not gonna disappear or whatever, right? Whereas the class trial rogue, I've only got like three hours and then it might just disappear and then I have to make a new one. If I've sent stuff to it and they haven't been pick locked, then they're gone anyway. Um, I can't use any of these anyway, but they're probably worth more than this random claw. And this tooth. So yeah, I've been thinking about maybe leveling up a rogue at some point. Like, just in the background. It'd kind of give me something to do, like, off-stream if we're gonna do... Um, like, the main campaign stuff on the stream on this character, then it kind of gives me something to do... Off-stream if I want to play WoW in the background or whatever, right? Uh, one second. I feel like it'd be a useful, like, thing to have in my toolkit of alts, really. I still need to finish leveling up a bunch of my alts. That's what I should be doing in the background. <laughs> like, when I'm not streaming, but... I've got other things to do now. Uh, where else do we need to go? All the way to the Mechanar, wasn't it? nice if they added an NPC to the end of all these old dungeons that would just teleport you out. Because in theory that shouldn't be that complicated for them to do, right? All they'd have to do is add, like, a fucking field marshal, whatever the fuck, at the end of the dungeon and then you talk to him and it just teleports you to the exit. 
they already have the like data positions of where the original model for that guy is so you could literally use the starting npcs of the dungeon for their coordinates you wouldn't even have to enter new coordinates in <laughs> and just essentially move the player to wherever they are play some nice like teleport effect thing over the top of it job done To be fair, it'd be kind of fitting for them to do that with one of the bronze dragon flight people. Is it... Uh, I can't remember her name now. Is it Zidoromi or something like that? The one that's like always in the old zones. If you want to go back and see like original uh, Silithus or original whatever will doom. Pretty sure she shows up on the map, doesn't she? Um, uh, yeah, Zidoromi. If they just put her at the end of every dungeon and just teleported you back to the beginning. Would be a really nice, like, quality improvement. Quality of life improvement, there we go. I guess it's not really needed for the, like, um... Like, the dungeon finder version of the dungeons or whatever, but like for when you're running it manually, it would be nice if there was just a teleport out button rather than having to run back all the time. made me curious how many ways there are to like kill yourself in this game <laughs> to like reset yourself to the start of dungeons right because there's enough of them might be worth doing People having a chat in the guild and I have no idea about what. Slightly concerned for a second. Yeah, I haven't done any of the reputations though. That's kind of cool. You get a title for reaching Exalted with them. There's a thing for just getting exalted with one of them. Gets you the level 3 trading post. And you have to reach Revered to get those. I mean, I can't be bothered to do that now with Shadowlands coming out, but uh, it's a thing I need to do eventually. But it can wait. I would just be happy to have another one of the Lawmaster things, like, ticked off. Honestly, Cataclysm won't take me long to do. I could probably just do that on the rest of my alts. Like, as I'm leveling them, thinking about it. Because generally speaking... You can get to 60 in one zone. <laughs> or 50 in one zone. If you do it with dungeons at the same time. Because obviously it scales with you the whole way. So if I do Vashir on this character. And then Mount Hyjal my mage. Then I can do Deep Holm. On uh... Actually I think I did start all Doom on this character maybe as well. It's not going to show me because it's... Yeah. Not the right old doom. Irritating. I'm sure I went there to do it because I've got the um, the the camel rep 
for the mounts, right? So I must have started some of the quests there, which means I could probably pick all Doom up on this character, which just leaves Deep Home and Twilight. So I could just level um, the other hunter I have through one of them, and maybe like the rogue through another, or you know, whatever else I need, kind of, to finish leveling. It's only seven chaps, it's not even that bad, to be honest. Uh, what was the other one? Deep Home? Oh, Deep Home's only four! I could maybe even do both of those on one character. I could do them all on the new Hunter, thinking about it. Although... I've kind of reached a point with that where I'm not sure I care enough to do all of the covenants. <laughs> like, that was the idea. I had I wanted to have a hunter of every covenant so that I could cover all my bases and if needed to swap, then I'd always be able to swap. But it means I'd have to have like four alts running at all times and at the like the highest level they could be. Which seems like an insane amount of work. I do want to get into like properly raiding and stuff during Shadowlands. It's something I've been interested in since I first played WoW. Which never really had the opportunity to get into it. I'm hoping the guild comes back so I can do that. Oh wait should vendor stuff and mailbox everything else uh, right. can't sell that for whatever reason uh, sell those the name of my druid. Um, right. That should be good. Oh yeah, um, I was re-watching, I think I mentioned them in the other stream, like, all of the things in Clone Wars and Rebels that are somewhat relevant to the Mandalorian storyline. The whole, like, Obi-Wan love story stuff in the Clone Wars, I missed at some point. That's kind of interesting. Because he's always presented as, like, the, you know, the very Jedi Jedi. Who, like abstains from connections and all the rest of the stuff. So it's interesting to see him kind of have those weaker moments. Uh, I can't accept. I 
kind of the like the parallel between those two. It's nice. Everyone kind of like pushes it away, and Anakin embraces it, and yeah, it's cool. It's just a nice like storytelling thing. Kind of further expands upon those two, their like relationship with each other, which. I feel like the Clone Wars really, like the cartoon, really fleshes out the prequel trilogy far more <laughs> and adds a lot of depth to things, which the prequel trilogy was uh, sorely missing. Especially that second film. Still can't get over how, how awful the dialogue is in the second film. I hadn't rewatched it in like years. So I kind of like I had vague memories of the dialogue being like, yeah, it's, it's a bit weird, isn't it? It's, it's fine. It's Star Wars. And then I tried rewatching it like either the beginning of this year or late last year. And dear God, is it awful. <laughs> just every scene with Anakin is just the most uncomfortable thing. You just sat there waiting for it to go back to Obi-Wan because you don't want Anakin to be on the screen anymore. It's not a fun time. The, um... The third film's finally. Also, what the fuck did I come here for? Did I complete the quest? Once you bring him an overcharge mana cell, from where? I can't open the thing because I'm in combat because of this hallway. Um, heat source from the forge, and everything you know, we can explore the magnetic area of the Tempest Keep. Turns out mana cells contain an incredible amount of power. Find one of the overcharge mana cells from the stacks around the Mechno Lord Capatricus. That guy. Okay, we'll go back down the lift then. So many greens. I got a tomahawk. Cool. It's a wood cutting axe by the looks of it. Oh, that's quite a cool looking robe, like colour scheme wise. Can't really see much of it because the tab odd, but still. Doesn't look bad. And that is a surprisingly high poly looking helmet for this time period. <laughs> Shoulders look accurate. Oh, I see the cubes up there. Nice. May as well finish it because this one actually has a teleport out, I believe. Pretty sure we got a few things this run. I think my Twitch has stopped. I can still see chat though, so. Can't remember what it was we got from the other place. We got something. Probably not going to be in the list anymore because I looted so much crap. Yeah. Unfortunate. just jewelry and a dagger I probably already looted like 20 times considering my look with daggers in this game. If a boss drops both a dagger and a sword I will get the dagger 20 times before I ever get the sword. 
I meant to say gun, but yeah. Same thing. One thing I have been doing, um, I mentioned before, like watching films and stuff to kind of like chill out in the evenings. Been rewatching the Indiana Jones films because I don't actually remember all of them, all the way through at all. Like I remember bits and pieces from all of them. I remember like the the room with the Holy Grail. I remember when they opened the the Ark of the Covenant. There we go. I was going to say the Tomb of something, but no, it's the Ark of the Covenant. And all the Nazis faces melt and explode and all the rest of it, like, you know. I remember those things, I just don't remember any of the rest of the plot for any of them, so. I'm kind of re-watching them because I remember bits. First one's pretty good. The second one's kind of weird. Temple of Doom. I still don't remember much of that film and I watched it, like, yesterday. <laughs> it's just kind of a blur of, like, there's some dudes chanting some things and then... The they die. Cool. End of story. <laughs> like, I don't really remember much of that at all. I remember his love interest being, like, the really stereotypical damsel in distress, like, the entire way through the film. Which is, like, the polar opposite of the first film, when his love interest is kind of, like, his equal. Is it Marion? Like, she's just as badass as he is and can, like, hold her own. And in the second film, she's, like, stereotypical princess that needs saving. A weird, like, jarring change. I haven't watched all of the, um... What's it called, actually? Is it Last Kingdom, Lost Kingdom, something like that? The third one, with the Holy Grail and his dad. And you get, like, his origin story. Which, honestly, is about as on the nose as the solo origin story. Where it's just like, he just gets given everything. He, uh, what, falls through the roof of a thing into like a snake pit. Snakes try to attack him, he falls into another pit with more snakes, gets like snakes inside of his clothes and stuff. So then you get the whole like origin of him not liking snakes and then he like falls into the next car of this train and there's a lion and he has to fend off the lion with a whip. It's like oh that's where he gets the whip thing from. And the guy who's chasing him wears the clothes that he wears later in life when he's Indiana Jones. He has the hat and the leather jacket and all the rest of it. It's literally the same thing as Solo, where he just gets given everything immediately. It's not quite as bad as Solo, I guess he doesn't just immediately get given his name by some random officer. But yeah, um, yet to see where this goes, because I only remember the bit with the, like, invisible bridge and uh, the, the cup, and that's all I remember of this film. Funnily enough, I remember the, like, whatever the MacGuffin is, and, like, the thing to get there. Like, I remember the Ark of the Covenant and what it does. I remember that whole set with them, like, being chained up and the camera blows up and all the rest. Like, I remember all of that stuff, but I just don't remember anything before that. I guess the problem of watching these kid, uh, watching these films when you're, like, really young, and then you come back to them later and it's like, what in the... <laughs> what was the plot of this? I just don't remember any of the story. I just remember, like, the big moments of the film, and that's it. It was kind of fun going back and watching the later and actually getting to experience the whole thing and remembering the whole thing. It's 
they're not bad films. It is weird seeing, like, young Harrison Ford now. <laughs> After, like, years of seeing, obviously, old Harrison Ford, because he is. Doesn't look bad, but he looks, you know, very different. It's also weird seeing him be like, you know, less of a uh, grouchy old man. <laughs> That's kind of what I think of when I think of Harrison Ford at this point. I get the impression he wasn't very happy to be on the set of Star Wars with any of the things. Whereas like King Harrison Ford playing Indiana Jones and stuff seems like he's genuinely having fun with the role. I love throwing through Terracar Forest, it's just tree leaves constantly. Tree leaves? No, that is correct. <laughs> I don't know why that sounded weird in my head for a second. I guess because normally you just call them leaves. But yeah, you're just flying through just a constant wall of green, trying to get anywhere. It's wonderful. I imagine it's what it would be like flying over the Necrolord place. Just green as far as the eye can see. Where do you want me to go now? Fuck off. One second, is this? One second. Yep, no, this is actually part of this quest chain. Okay. Um, gem we need to call... The gem we need is called the Tear of the... The Tear of the Earth Mother. It's a powerful artifact in the hands of the ogres who created it and will bring out Omogar. Who currently holds the gem and has powerful allies in Hellfire Cyrodiil. Okay. Um, Steam Vault. This is literally go back and redo all of the dungeons. There's not even any point putting that on there, is there? Because I'm just going to have to fucking guess. Uh, which one did he want? Was it the Hellfire Ramparts or something like that? Let's just go up here. Tear of the Earth Mother. Uh, Hellfire Citadel's Shattered Halls. Again, it's not going to matter because I'm going to have to just guess when I get there anyway. Um. 
can't remember which one is which here at all. I'm guessing by where this one is, maybe this one? <laughs> maybe? It's too far away. Let's find out. Yep, cool. Oh, no, that's the exit. Apparently I haven't done the quests in here. Oh, it's that one. I think I've only ever done that on, like, one character. Because the group I was with actually went back and did them all. 90% of the time, groups just sprint through and don't do the quest. Even though it's super easy to do. Not super easy to do solo, but like, you know, with a tank and a healer. He's a piss really. Oh god, it covers up a lot of my screen. You get anything new in mail? I didn't expect to be getting... I mean, it's not a lot of gold, but it's more gold than I was expecting. I honest, I could do with some gold. I'm getting kind of low on money again. Not surprised having to spend so much on bloody quest items for this quest line. Those two running off to. <laughs> um, I'm. Oh, it's that guy we have to kill. Okay. What is that buff I just got? Time until first prisoner is killed. Fifty-five minutes remaining. I think I'll be fine. I was gonna say that multi shot didn't look capped, but I'm pretty sure that's just my answer right roots. about it I think I've only got like one or two reps left to do in like all of uh fighting crusade well like the dungeon ones I think I think it's just the violet eye the one you get for doing uh Karazhan and like the caverns of time stuff Got everything I can from here? Uh, no. Last guy can drop me stuff still. So much cloth, holy shit. 
was three stacks of the stuff. These guys just keep dropping money, I'm gonna keep killing them. Oh, rude. never get anything good for like my actual spec. I just get a bag full of cloth and plate all every time. The guys alive on the side I think No? Okay, cool. All these training dummies regenerated. That's actually not a terrible looking weapon. Like it's kind of it's simple, but kind of like it. I think I've got one kind of similar already. That would be quite cool for a, like a paladin. Quite cool. It's kind of like the, um, the priest staff. I can't remember the name of it. I think they get a couple variants of that now, actually. Those halberds are real dumb, but I kind of like them too. They do look like something someone would wear on like Power Rangers. It's that level. Ah oh, yes, a, a Burning Crusade tank. Perfect. Into shield. <laughs> Well, uh, my hopes were wrong, weren't they? Because uh, this is taking just as long as it did yesterday to do, like, four quest chains. <laughs> we're a fucking hour in and we haven't finished one. Because it's just all flying. <laughs> I'll have to fly around all the horde controlled stuff so I get PvP flanked. What else you can get here? Nothing really of interest. There. Oh, that's cool. Like a ghost sword. Get that out of On a hold quarter mess. I could probably buy that then. A regular swords. Ooh, that's kind of cool. Also, the honor hold tabard. I'm sure I'm exalted to the honor hold. Probably gotta pick those up unless they're PvP things. In which case, I probably can't. I 
I do have the urge to go and play Generation Zero again, which is awkward. Because I don't think I have much left to do now other than, like, farm stuff or do new content. And I don't want to get too far ahead on the new content. Because I kind of want to play that with everyone else at the same time. Because it actually has a story and stuff. But, uh, you know. I guess I could go around and do, like, any side missions and stuff I've missed, because I'm sure there's a few. It'd be help if this gave me underwater breathing as well, and not just swim speed. It's nice to have, but it is kind of a hindrance of being underwater, not having water breathing. Um, which one of these guys is the correct one? The map doesn't help, cool. Um, I'm guessing this one is the correct one I need, right? Steam event. Inventory is just filling up with a quest items I don't need that haven't gone away from my inventory, like the keys I have. Or it's all the crafting materials, like the four stacks of cloth and things like that. Uh, yes, that's the one I need. Um, do we have a marker as to who we need to murder here? Or is it just everyone? Uh, underworld loan from Hydromancer Thespis. First boss, nice. The only one that can drop anything is the Warlord in there. We can drop a bow. Which is... It's dumb, but I like it. We have to go and kill the last boss. It's like two flat fish that have been just like roped together as a bow. It looks incredibly dumb. So many greys. Jesus Christ. I just want the greens. All the rest of this stuff. How many pieces of leather stuff I just got from that? Oh, that is like straight up a, a ranger hood from like the the trailer, like the original classic WoW, uh, the dwarf hunter with his hood. That sort of look, but it's a cloth piece. Bag space, I'm getting overloaded with just greys. Oh, more greens though. Uh, all of them I have already. Irritating.
I thought it said there was something down in that water then for a second. But oh, that does actually lead you back through to the middle. Oh. That might actually be the quicker way back, but I guess you have to go into the water, so maybe it'd be slower. I guess it depends on the class. Don't really need to run this, so it doesn't really matter too much. Inventory space. <gasps> oh, we got the bow. Burning Crusade bows, that is probably the dumbest looking one I've got. That one? It's actually kind of cool. Um, I meant to rotate my camera, thank you. Yeah, it's very tribal. Perfect for like a, an orc hunter or something. Can I go this way? Go to the map again. Missed the dot I did. Yep. How many more quest lines are there for the soul? <laughs> Jesus, there's another three after this one. Oh, I hope they're short. <laughs> On the upside, my stomach is, like, perfectly fine now. <laughs> so we're fine, but... Just, you know, <laughs> kind of, uh, getting bored of this. This is the most drawn-out questline I think we've done so far. At least with, like, the other three that we did that were all kind of like smushed together. They were kind of contained within the zone. Whereas this quest train has sent me literally everywhere. Other than the zone it's supposed to be in. In fact, the NPC who's giving me the quests isn't even in Shadow Moon. Apparently this is a Shadow Moon quest. See them would have been closer, but I will. We're going here. On the upside, we do have a derpy looking bow now we can use.
I did have a thought of, like, could you actually put together some sort of Mandalorian themed set, but I feel like the look is so unique to Star Wars, it's going to be kind of hard to find anything that kind of remotely matches that. Like, there are a lot of maybe good helmets, but like you're doing the whole not showing your face thing, there's kind of limited options. Yeah, you're stuck with like this sort of thing, which uh, doesn't really fit the brief. Or this. Yeah, I do have that, but you can't use it because it's not Hallow's End. I'm sure someone out there has probably put together some sort of transmog that kind of fits the theme. Oh, also, those are kind of cool. Where do you get those from? Is that, uh, yeah. I know, Throne of Thunder. Huh. I'm sure I've done Throne of Thunder, I guess I've just never got the drops from Primordius. Yeah, because they all come from him. Why does the LFR version look better than the others? Again. That one's kind of more, I guess, villainous in that sense. It's got like the, you know, the richer red sort of coloration and more like greys to blacks rather than like gold stuff, but that one looks cooler. And it's the LFR version. Isn't this also Throne of Thunder? Yeah. Interesting. Yeah, honestly, it'd probably be easier to do, like, Baby Yoda as a goblin than, uh, set up a Mando, <laughs> like, transmog. Okay, that thing that makes you a Lepanome, you could do it as a gnome, too. What's that from? Oh, that's the Muggle Muggle helm, apparently. Oh, that one's pretty nice. Where are you that from? A vendor. Okay, cool. Oh, the fire festival. Looks dumb as hell. Kind of like those old wolf masks. They're very, like, low poly now, but they still look cool. Uh, finish forging a sword for you. Huh? Oh, is he just making it now? I don't actually have to, like, go somewhere and wait. Oh, yep, there we go. Travel to the scalding pools located near the top of the Hand of Gul'dan and use the Forged Illidori, okay. Well, yep, that will be an issue. No inventory space from all the greys. there wasn't fatigue from flying over that gap between the two zones. Guess that counts as shallow water somehow.
I'm actually not clear on what the lore is of Shadow Moon Valley. Obviously, we like imprisoned Illidan and stuff, right? And we kind of have some sort of control over the Outland place now. But like, what happened to this place? Because this place is still filled with like fell lava and energy and stuff, so it's going to continuously attract demons. No, just a hand in the quest. So I can't imagine we'd have ever left the place alone? Without like Illidan here to rein them in, it'd be weird for them to just leave it open as well. Kind of the same thing of like always needing a Lich King to keep the Scourge in control, you kind of need somebody to rein in the demons. I guess was Sagaris's job, but also dealt with him too, so it's just kind of left unresolved, I guess. Something that will probably be covered in future. Nice. Got a bunch of stuff for that, actually. I like the blue one. And also a dagger. Oh, no, apparently the mage blade is a dagger. I've got several daggers and then a broadsword, which looks... It's the same size as a dagger. That's not a broadsword. It's a dagger. Yeah. Yeah, we got a farm. Oh. Don't want to do this quest, it was dumb. Have to whistle pigs over to things, but then there are no pigs left alive near the things you need to whistle them to because they get spawn killed by demons. Or beasts, whatever those things are. You just gotta sit on top of the same two, like, vegetables and keep whistling because otherwise the pigs just die. <laughs> you can't complete the quest. Nope, I shot the fell boar instead because you can target both of them. Wonderful. Oh, this one doesn't work. So what about this one? <laughs> this one works, okay. Oh, so that two bro I whistled to in the middle is gone. That's convenient. This person's also trying to do this quest line now as well. It's gonna be even more difficult to do. Fun. <laughs> Fucking hate this quest. Like, what am I supposed to do here? You whistle, none of them come to you, and then you've got to wait for a cooldown. What do you mean? <laughs> 
now it's gone. What is this quest? Who designed this piece of shit? And then also made this part of a mandatory quest chain to finish the zone as well. Fuck off, game. This is just unbelievably badly designed. <laughs> Honestly, I would take a quest where I have to collect, like, fucking 50 bear hooves and they only drop two every once in a while. Over this. It's as dumb as the logic is for those quests. At least there's, you know, a way to complete it without just slamming your head against the wall and waiting for the AI to figure out how to do things. She really just flew over here and tried to steal my fucking thing. Really? Oh my god, how many of them are there? because it's domestic no they're all domesticated and literally stood next to one this fucking quest holy shit But that one works. <laughs> what was any different about that one and that pig that made it work that the other two wouldn't? There's no consistency with this. Hello? And now the game will let me mount. Cool. Oh. Thanks? <laughs> okay, I don't know why there were just two there. Oh, and I'm gonna go break their eggs. I 
kind of look like pineapples, but with more spikes. Kind of irritating just being stuck competing with people for the quest items. Not looking forward to that part of uh, Shadowlands, honestly. Honestly, I don't know if it's worth just like giving Shadowlands maybe like a week and letting people like descend on it. And then letting, you know, then coming in a little bit later and finishing up. everything then because like it's gonna be just a shit show for like the first week you're not gonna be able to kill anything because everyone's gonna be there killing stuff getting through quests is gonna take hours Sells a Drunai backpack, weirdly. Um, I'm just gonna sell all of this crap. Taking up too much space. Oh, actually, I can hand in the quest. But we'd already given me one. I have to go find his sons. This is the Cypher of Damnation, but where's Borrowed Power or Akam's Promise, then? There's no quest marker on the map. Oh, it's going to be one of these again, isn't it? Like it was in, um... Was it Terracar when it was real weird? Uh, it wants you to recover the first fragment of the Cypher of Damnation. Yep. Yep. Cool, I got the chest. Key. Oh. One of these quests, is it? Be a million chests, and only one of them actually has the item in. Can you guys even drop keys? Probably not, because you're just snakes. All the chests here. hate whoever designed this quest chain. Just the entire thing. <sighs> These quests are so dumb. <laughs> Take the lockbox to Tornheart. Oh, okay, it's just return. Go do the other ones first.
Seek out pain monstrous. Um, Well, that was a lot simpler. Can we just have more quests like that so I can get this done? Um, wants you to recover the bow of the torn heart from the demons of the area. to open my mouth, huh? I'm not gonna say it. <laughs> I'm, I'm, nope. Um, creatures attacked or damaged by the spirit hunter will not kill the or experience. I want you to recover the second fragment of the cipher damnation from Ventrus. Many. Another patrolling guy. You guys are just. Oh, there he is. Oh, Ghost Boy, like, faded out. I actually still need to start reading the um, Shadowlands lore book. I still haven't started that. I've only got like a week left, so I'll probably start that soon. I wonder if it gives me any more context to Anduin just being yeeted into the sky. to find the rotten Arakawa egg and deliver it to Tobias. Um... <laughs> I knew there would be a quest for these eggs. Apologize. I feel like I'm not being terribly entertaining today. <laughs> I'm just kind of tired. Is 
Well, I don't feel like I slept super well at all. And obviously my stomach playing up this morning is just not... Not been a great day so far. <laughs> Apart from us getting a, a dumb looking bow, that was kind of cool. I was trying to get the Witcher book that I was reading finished before I started the Shadowlands stuff, but I guess I'll just have to skip over it for now. I have to make a bookmark out of a post-it note or something and like save my space so I can uh, get the Shadowlands one and go. have noticed about the streaming thing is it doesn't really feel like I'm constantly trying to fill time anymore. Like I kind of just chill out and get into the swing of it. It's good. Feels like a better... The word is for it. Like a better atmosphere, I suppose. It's not me necessarily trying to like force filling of time and things. Just kind of chill out talk about the game. Whatever else is going on. It feels more natural. What the fuck is going on? Oh, egg. Can't really see it through uh, my pterodactyl giving him a hug. Oh. By life changing, you mean it made everyone ill. What the fuck? Not give up. Roma, act corta. Again, it's just one of these quests where it's go to a place and then go back to where you came from. <laughs> I really don't like Shadowmoon Valley. <laughs> like, just the quest chains here are just a complete pain in the ass. All of them. I'm actually going to see if I can look this up and just find, like, the Shadowman Valley quest chains while we fly in a straight line. Actually, slightly more that way. There we go. I'm sorry if the frame rate of it isn't great. Uh, maybe? Apparently this one starts the Altar of Shatra? I really don't know. Fly over there and see if there's quests, I guess. Oh, there we go. Complete the Death Rising storyline leading to the events of Shadowland. So yeah, the full quest line is in, so yeah, we'll do that tomorrow. As a stream. Should, uh, you know. Mikeless. Oh, I just realised I have the things here. There are prerequisite quests that must be completed. It's not super helpful. So apparently there's a quest line that returned to Shatra or something, so... Maybe I need to do that. <laughs> I 
I really just don't know. I remember last time we ended up going around in circles trying to look for quest people when we were in uh, Terracar. Wants you to recover the Storm Rage missive. The map marker is not the end of the bridge, though, is it, game? Do we just kill the Bloodlord guy? <laughs> I'd hide before they see you back up. Am I actually supposed to back up? I... They didn't spot me. I had, I had no idea what was going on in that quest. Um, once you took over six pieces of the eclipse. Right, well that's one. No. Nope. That's one apparently. Cool, it's one of these quests. Well, at least it's not another dumb fucking pig quest that doesn't work. Hey. Oh. Accidentally found another quest line. Come on, I need one more. My boys just decide to stop wearing armor, apparently. There we go. I mean, I'd argue logically I'd have been able to get all of it from a single guy because all I needed was armor fragments, and some of them were wearing full suits of armor, so if I just punched them hard enough, I'm sure I could get many fragments. Considering what the rest of this question is like, I'm just thankful it's not another pig quest. You guys didn't come close and disappoint him. Oh, 
Those are cool models. Is he just a rip-off of the uh, thingy? I can't remember his name now. I can't remember them all. Uh, the Slanesh guy. Lucius? Eternal? I'm going to go and fight him at uh, the Black Temple. That was the rest of the dialogue. Um, deliver Illidan's message to Grand Commander Rusk. Pretty sure those are baby biscuits, but apparently that's the name of the big bad guy here. Oh, do I gotta be in a disguise or something? Oh, um, I'm in a disguise. Am I delivering this to you? Grand Commander. I'm assuming the Grand Commander is probably up here and not where the marker is. I'm correct. He's a death knight as well. Got like the actual death knight gear on. Like the ebon hold, ebon blade stuff. Uh, once you cover the third part of the cipher. What do you want me to do now? From Rule the Darkener. Is it a dragon or is it a guy riding on a dragon considering this swim? I'm pretty sure he's not going to be where the circle says considering none of these objectives have been correct. found his nether drake. He was not on it, apparently. Does that mean somebody else already killed him? Thing. It must be nice if the enemy render distance wasn't like five feet and you could actually see things from further away. Someone else had already killed him because the nether drake goes off by itself. He had two thunder furies.
Which I still want to try and get at some point, because you can still get all the parts from it, I think, from like Molten Core, different bosses there. Oh, wonderful. Um, pretty sure those are, well, they look very similar to the ones you get from Molten Core, actually. Take lockbox to the far. Shadowman Valley has taken longer than I think any other zone in any expansion I've done. It's been so much back and forth and so many irritating quest lines, like it's just... I don't know, I feel like it's probably the longest piece of content I've seen in the game and it's also the most irritating because I just want to like get on with things. Still have to go round in circles across the entirety of Outland to bring back like a rock to somebody. Oh, okay, this is the big guy. I remember seeing him a bunch when I came here. Assuming that's who we're summoning. Oh, no, I wanted to look at old man called Dan. <laughs> they turned around. some weird stuff on his face. I can't really make him out. Have a very majestic beard though. to do something else here. <laughs> Hello? How do I use this? I to bring the words of damnation. I thought that's what spawned him in the first place, but... So I gotta do it again? Maybe? Or did I just reset the RP? I'm very confused. What the fuck is happening? Where even is this quest? I don't care anymore. Uh, use the cipher of the old damnation to summon the Fire Lord. Destroy the Fire Lord and speak to He's not hostile. Well, I can't target him. Well, I can target him, but I can't kill him. Oh, I see. I had to talk to the brothers. Who are gonna sprint up this hill and fight a random earth elemental instead? Where are we going, guys? Yep, we are literally going to fight a random earth elemental instead. Speak 
Oh, we got another bow from this as well. Oh, damn. That is a pretty fancy bow. Oh, we got a lot of stuff from that. Holy shit. We got a staff. We got another staff. That looks quite cool, actually. We got a battle axe. It's not bad either. Kind of dated, but it's not bad. Got a like mini one that doesn't look so good. And then there's the bow, which looks cool. And surprise, surprise, another dagger. They redeemed the spirits. Oh, there we go. And yep, now the uh, next quest chain popped up. Nice. Um, right, honestly, I think I'm just gonna wrap things up here. I'm getting very, like, tired and irritated by quest lines now <laughs> that shouldn't be irritating me at all. So, uh, I apologize for that, if that's not been, um, Blessings upon you. the greatest of moods, <laughs> I suppose. I was just getting really irritated by the, like, way that those quests were laid out and just didn't. Have not forgotten us. Didn't make a whole lot of sense to me from like a design standpoint at all. So uh, thank you guys for watching. Hope it's not been too like you know grumpy. Um, got some new stuff. That was cool. Bunch of new transmog things. Um, hopefully we'll actually have this done tomorrow because it takes two hours to do like two quest chains apparently here. So hopefully we'll wrap this up and then we'll uh, head on over to Shadowlands and uh, well. Ice Crown and do the rest of the Shadowlands uh, intro stuff tomorrow. Uh, like I say, probably on a mic for stream, so uh, it should be kind of just chill music, quest chains. See how that goes. We'll see if there's anything new in it because we did it all before on the PTR, so there might be some new cutscenes and bits and pieces. Um, might get some new gear from over there, maybe. We'll see how it goes. But uh, like I say, thank you guys for watching. Hope to see you guys again, hopefully, tomorrow. And uh, we should be back again for more WoW on Thursday. And then I think I'm probably not going to be here Friday. Um, if I can, I'll try and get some Divinity done on like, Saturday and Sunday, maybe. Let's see. But uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Hope to see you guys again soon.